When the Duke and Duchess of Sussex quit royal duties three years ago, Queen Elizabeth said they would always be much-loved members of my family. And Buckingham Palace officials were keen to stress that they would continue to be invited to family events. I hear that Prince Harry and Meghan have not, however, been invited to the King's birthday parade next weekend. It will be the first time in Harry's life that he has not been welcome at the monarch's official birthday celebrations. This year's event is particularly significant because it is the first since his father succeeded to the throne last September. I'm afraid it's a reflection of the state of relations at the moment, a source tells me. The couple flew over from California for last year's Trooping the Color, which became part of Queen Elizabeth's Platinum Jubilee weekend. They were invited by the late Queen to watch the ceremony with other members of the royal family from offices overlooking Horse Guards Parade. Long months photographers captured through the window grainy shots of the couple briefly larking around with the young children of Zara and Mike Tyndall. They were not, however, asked to be on the Buckingham Palace balcony for the official flypast later in the day. Since last June, Harry and Meghan have done much damage to relations with the royal family. First, they took part in a docu-series, or reality show, for Netflix, in which they made a series of strongly disputed claims. Then, Harry published his highly controversial memoirs, Spare, which included details of intimate conversations with members of his family and lurid claims such as his alleged assault by Prince William. Prince Harry reportedly stayed at his former residence at Frogmore Cottage during his latest sojourn to the UK to testify on his lawsuit against Mirror Group newspapers, but didn't see his family during the short trip. The Duke of Sussex arrived back in California Thursday night after spending just three days at the Windsor Estate Cottage, where he and his wife Meghan Markle were reportedly evicted from earlier this year, according to The Telegraph. During the stop to his home country, Harry did not meet with his father, King Charles III or his brother, Prince William, the paper reported. This week's visit at the Frogmore likely marked Harry's last at the cottage after his father booted him from the property one day after publishing his bombshell memoir Spare, which revealed intimate details about his contentious relationships with family members before quitting royal life. The eviction process began after King Charles reportedly became enraged by how Queen Consort Camilla was portrayed in the book. Harry and Meghan were given until early summer to move out. The sprawling mansion includes a pool. 98 acres of land and an astounding 30 bedrooms. The Duke stayed at the cottage in March, when he made another appearance in court over a separate phone hacking case against the Daily Mail. During that visit, he retrieved a number of belongings that he and Meghan Markle left at the estate and shipped them to their $14 million Montecito, California mansion. The Duke appeared in court on Tuesday and Wednesday and spent nearly eight hours on the stand during the cross-examination from MGN's defense team. A black car whisked him away after court ended around 5 p.m. Wednesday, and he flew back to California Thursday wanting to get back to his family as soon as possible, a source told The Telegraph.